What's up, Charlotte Orioles and Oriole families? We are here for round one of the playoffs. We have Ackerson Lake High School in round one of the playoffs. We are getting ready. How'd you like that video, chat? If you want to see more content like that, you can follow our YouTube channel at Charlotte HS Esports uh, on YouTube. Go f give that a follow. Um, we had that video released a few weeks ago. It's the highlights of the whole season. Um, I'm locked in, ready to go. The kids are locked in, ready to go. Ackerson Lake is, I believe, ready. Um, so we are uh, going to start on Oasis. So this is the control part of the map. So we are going to basically fight for a point in the middle of the map. But this is playoff time, folks. If we lose, uh, we do not continue. If we win, then we are invited to the in-person state playoff um, at U of M Flint. So this is a huge game for us. We have accumulated all this work, all this practice for this one moment right now to try to win in the playoffs. This is where it's at. So, we're going to check and make sure they are ready. All right, they are ready. I believe. Good luck. Have fun. Let's start this sucker. All right, so. We're going to run through the comps. We're going to run through what's going on. But keep the energy up in the chat. Chad, how you guys feeling today? I see Honey Badger, how you doing? Dragon Queen, how are you today? So we're gonna start on Oasis. Oasis is an interesting map. It's a control map. Um, a lot of it is very brawly. A lot of it is very closer range. You're not gonna get like a lot of Widow play. You're not gonna get a lot of Ash play. It's much more, you know, you're gonna play a lot more May. You're gonna play a lot more uh, Torby, for example. Uh, Brig is a great pick here. So we're going to have uh, Ripley. He's going to be on Torby. We've got Ethan Weaver, our senior, here for his first playoffs. Um, he is going to play Reinhardt. We have our Brig and Cage. We have our May and Davin. And we also have Brendan. What? Tell them we need to re restart it because. All right, so chat, we had a, a keyboard malfunction. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and reset this. Welcome to Oasis. All right, little uh, technological malfunction there, but we're all good. Nothing wrong. Thank you, Fracks and Lake, for uh, being patient with us there. We, we really appreciate that. So, like I was saying, this is Oasis. It's a brawlier map. It's going to be a lot of close quarters. Um, we have the same lineup that we just went through. Um, we are ready to go, though. Uh, chat, I am going to give you a warning. It is playoffs, so we are on a minute delay. So I am seeing you guys in one minute delay. You are seeing me in a one minute delay. Um, that is just to, you know, just in case there are any cheaters out there in the world that uh, we don't have to worry about that. It's just a precaution. Um, so uh, that's what's going on with that. So if it's a little confusing between us and uh, me and chat right now, it's not you guys, it's me, all right? So we're gonna have Weaver. Weaver's gonna charge on a point here. He's gonna look for early point presence here. He's gonna try to get there before Ackerson Lake High School does. Uh, Ackerson Lake is running a Farah. That's probably gonna be an issue for Charlotte because I don't think we have any Farah counters right at the moment. We're gonna have to switch to counter that here in a second, all right? But Davin doing a, uh, he was trying to section off there, but he missed the wall, it looks like. He's gonna try to put pressure on the Farah, see if he can hit the head dinks, and he cannot. Uh, Ripley, though, gets the Farah. What a pick by Ripley. Getting the Farah. Looks like Charlotte High School is going to wipe three of them off point right away. 
Charlotte High School is in a 2v5 right now. Charlotte is going to wipe, and they are going to take point right away. Charlotte gets first point. So you can see on the top, the percentage um, is going up for Charlotte High School. So uh, on the left side, you're going to see that percentage slowly start to make its way up. Right now it's at 15%. We want that to hit 100%. When that hits 100%, um, Charlotte High School has won their match. All right, Bastion is a good switch for Axon Lake. That's going to fry our Reinhardt. Um, Axon Lake is challenging height, but Ripley's holding his ground using that shotgun ability that Torby has, and he uses so well. Brendan playing Moira, trying to keep his uh, guys up right now. Ackerson Lake is not applying a lot of pressure right here. Charlotte's kind of just able to do what they want at the moment. The shatter comes out by Weaver, but it doesn't connect on anybody. Um, Charlotte's going to be sitting on some alts here soon. The Bastion trying to apply pressure, but a great wall comes out by Davin to block the Bastion turret. Charlotte really just has to play that Bastion turret out. As long as they don't peek that Bastion turret, it can't do much damage. Bastion without his turret is just a very mid legend. Oh, the spear comes out. Davin's reduced to one shot, but he gets the quick healing from Cage to keep him up and keep him alive. He's still at half health, though. He's got to either Berg or somebody's got to top him off. Let's go over here to Cage. Cage is on Brig. He's trying to keep his Inspire time up, trying to hit those mace swing shots. Every time he hits a mace swing, his healing goes up. He heals everybody around him. They've switched Sombra. That's an interesting swift by Ackerson Lake. The Sombra hacks him and walks away. She's in that side room there. Let's see if they apply any pressure on that Sombra. The rally comes out by Cage. She rallies and he tries to apply pressure on the Lucio. Cage is going to get the Lucio. Lucio goes down. He's going to go over to the Zen. Zenyatta too. Why not? And the boop comes through. Actually, it wasn't even a boop. She just jumped. Oh, good section on the wall there to keep the Bastion turret away from your team, Davin. And Charlotte, 100 O's, Ackerson Lake in round one of map one. So Charlotte's going to get a point here on Ackerson Lake. It's a 1-0 right now. Playoff format is a little bit different than what you guys are used to in the season. Um, so the first map is control, just like always, all right? Um, but it's best of five. It's best of five. It's no longer we play four maps and four maps is it. It's a best of five situation. Um, so, you know, we're, we're trying to get to three. First team to three basically uh, wins it. So right now we have one point for this map. All right. You have to get two points to win this map. It's best two of three for the map. But we're trying to get three maps one. If we get three maps won, we are going to be the team to win this. So Charlotte is going to TP on the left side here. That is a consistent strategy for us that we've showed on film quite a bit. Um, we're going to go all the way to the left side here, and Sim is going to TP top middle, and we're going to gain immediate high ground. Um, and then we're going to be able to look down on Ackerson Lake. You see Ackerson Lake always, uh, the other team comes into that low ground right there. It's very difficult for them. Oh, the whip shot by Cage and the finish by Ethan Ripley. He whip-shotted a Farah. That's a little ridiculous, and I love it. Sim trying to apply some pressure. Davin did pick off the, the Zen. The Lucio drops for Ackerson Lake. It looks like Charlotte is going to team wipe this. Charlotte is going to take point right now. And now Charlotte should probably go up and start to take some presence. they got to figure out right now, like, where do they want to be on this map? Do they want to be high ground? Do they want to play low ground? Do they want to play flanks? Who's going to be on those flanks? Right now is the planning stage for each team in Overwatch. Once you take that that point, then you got to start to think. Where do you want to be in order to win this game? All right, so let's watch. Uh, we haven't been on our tank in a minute. Let's go to big old uh, Reinhardt here. Ethan Weaver trying to keep them back. He's sectioning their whole team right now. Doing a great job doing so. But that Junkrat's going to apply a lot of pressure. That Junkrat will fry a Reinhardt. He's got to be careful about that, especially challenging him in a small room. But he goes ahead and swings his big hammer, and he's just going to smack him around in that point. Easy kills for Ethan Weaver. How did that charge not grab her? That was kind of confusing. Weaver just demanding the respect in that room. He says, look, you may have an advantage with a Junkrat in there, but I have a big giant hammer, and I know how to use it. I think we got to stick on him here. This is our senior. This is our leader. He's got us right now. We're, what is he going to do with it? We have a sim wall. We do have a Torby all coming here soon, so I'm going to actually stick to Torby. 
We're probably going to use a Torbjol here soon. But Atkinson Lake is really struggling to get in a position where we would have to use the, the Torbjolts. Uh, Ripley's just chilling up there. He's just advising. He's uh, looking from above like a bird. So Weaver doing a good job trying to section away the team, not allowing Ackerson Lake onto this point. He's just bullying them back into this room right now. Supports are doing a great job keeping him up. As long as our supports don't frontline and throw this, then I believe Weaver's just going to hold him off right here. Ackerson Lake's really got to think about coming onto point a different way. They tried to do it right there, but uh, yeah, too little, too late. Charlotte wins map one in a 2-0 performance, 100-0 in each map. These guys have been practicing, trying to get themselves better all week. All right, we've had a couple of tough scrims and we've learned a lot. But Weaver, oh, with the fat shatter right here. He's gonna shield those nades away. He's gonna fire strike, get all the kills on the support lineup. And then I don't know how that charge didn't work, but it is what it is. How you like that, chat? Charlotte is 1-0. up for chat all right chat so let me explain how this works from here on out all right so playoff format is in a pick ban format okay um, so basically what that means is the losing team is going to ban a map first so like let's say that you know alhs reaches out to us and says hey we are going to ban blizzard world so we can't play that map and then we take our turn and we ban a map and we ban 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 until there's only one map left that's how maps are decided in the playoffs pick ban format um the loser of the previous match um picks attack or defense um and that's kind of how we're doing right now so we're gonna go ahead and pick ban this um so give us some time to pick ban this down to one map uh we'll reset so grab your popcorn actually it's a little early for popcorn maybe grab some uh some uh mangoes or something i don't know whatever you eat in the morning all right
All right, Chaz, so we have picked a map. We're waiting on Ackerson Lake to figure out if they want to attack or defend right now. Uh, we're going to go with Parezo. Parezo is a, um, a pretty balanced map, I would say. There's a lot of short uh, you know, sight lines that you can be a little more brawly in, but there's also some light si long sight lines that you can play like an Ash or a Widow in. Um, it's a little bit of everything, but it is going to be a hybrid map, so there's going to be a capture point that we're going to have to cap first, and then once we capture that point, you're going to see a little car come out of a garage, and we got to escort that car to the end of the map um, as far as we can. So it's a mixture of both capture and escort. That's why they call it hybrid. All right, so we're waiting on Ackerson Lake right now to figure out if they want to attack or defend. Once we hear from them, we're going to go ahead and roll. So they want to... They want to defend, so we need to swap. Don't watch me, you make me nervous. Mr. Rat is struggling, chat. <laughs> okay. um. It's a Saturday no morning, you know, my brain is not in peak did teacher you have mode. This I did have coffee this morning, nice. but it was McDonald's coffee. Ooh. And uh, that's just not, not it's not the best. Not the best. Chad, what's the best fast food coffee? What do you guys think? I, I just don't, I don't. I don't vibe with McDonald's coffee. You know what place I really like? Tastes like coffee-flavored water, you know if that makes I sense. That, that gas station uh, downtown, uh, the little convenience store called Johnny's. Oh, yeah? Their coffee's actually pretty good. Johnny's coffee? They said they're almost ready. All right. So we're waiting on Ackerson Lake right now. They said they're almost ready. Uh, once they are ready, we're going to start this map off. Charlotte's looking to maintain their composure right now. You cannot be satisfied off one map win. Uh, so basically the guys have gotten themselves locked back in right now. They're all sitting planning this map trying to figure out what they're doing What high ground they're gonna take they're making sure that their comms are ready to go um, Basically, I want to let you guys know like these kids are locked in right. They are locked in coaches are locked in it is all Serious right now. We are trying to win and make it to in-person state playoffs, okay? All right, so Ackerson Lake is ready. So we're going to have a good luck, have fun in the chat. No Diet Coke, though. That is probably why I'm a little off right now. But I figured, you know, going from coffee straight to a Diet Coke, probably not the best thing for Mr. Red. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start this matchup right now. They are ready. We are ready. We have both spectators in their appropriate teams. We have both teams in their appropriate spots. And... Oh, wait. No, I did mess one thing up, chat. Let me change. This is actually CHS now, and this is Ackerson Lake. A-L-H-S. There we go. All right, now I am ready. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit start right now. We're going to get into map two. Parezo. All right, chat. So I'm going to try to spotlight some things here for you. We're going to go through our comp just like normal. Um, we didn't really change anything. I don't believe we changed anything, actually. Nope, we have the same comp that we did before. Got to get the flavored coffee, Coach. What flavored coffee? What kind of flavored coffee do you mean? A reminder, chat, we are on a one-minute delay, so you are seeing and hearing me from one minute ago. I am time-traveling to your screen right now. Uh, the reason for the minute delay... Um, <laughs> this chat is now sponsored by Big B, so I just saw that chat. 
Um, so that gives you a sense of how long the delay is. But the reason for that delay is just because we're in playoffs now, we, we don't want any kind of uh, issues with anybody seeing our stuff, anybody seeing our, our games in advance. So, um, you know, we love to stream to you guys, but streaming is also a risk. We don't know who's watching. So we have a minute delay just to accommodate that um, that issue. So, all right, we're going to go Parazo here. We have the same lineup that we had before. Uh, I believe the same characters, except for now we don't have a May, we have a Symmetra. They're going to look to probably Sim TP this. They saw a Moira go left of them right there. That Moira's probably going to try to be sneaky and then probably TP right back. They're going to TP up top right away, try to apply some early pressure on Ackerson Lake. Two picks come through on Charlotte High School. The speed, violence, and momentum of Charlotte is incredible right now. They're going straight to points. Charlotte is going to lose their Moira. Bastion applying a lot of pressure to Weaver right now. Weaver's below half health. Cage is trying to do his best to keep him alive, but he might not have any health packs left. Let's check in on Cage's health pack situation. He has no health packs left. He only has Inspire to keep his tank alive right now, but Charlotte's going to cap point right away. The reason they call this hybrid... Oh, be careful of that Bastion turret, kid. All right, Bastion turret is down. They're going to wipe Ackerson Lake off the point. Charlotte is going to take first point. And now the reason it is called hybrid is because they're going to start escorting a car right here. They got to get the stagger point on these two. Stagger this May. Stagger this May for sure. May is staggered away from her team. And what I mean by stagger chat is everybody respawns at the same rate in Overwatch. So once you die, you respawn at the same rate. But if you die way past when the rest of your team dies, then you are staggered from their timing. So right now, what like Ackerson Lake right now does not have their full team back. Okay, so they're staggered as a team. Mocha or Carmel? Mocha, in my opinion. I'm not a big Carmel guy. All right. May is going to try to bring the walls out, try to pull a Davin on these guys. Uh, but the May wall misses the section and doesn't get that through. So right now, Ackerson Lake, that Bastion turret is probably the biggest threat to Charlotte because every time that Bastion turret comes out, you can see that Weaver's shield disappears. This kid trying to keep his shield in play here. I assume when that May wall drops, the Bastion turret is going to come through. The Suffer comes out. The all comes through. For Ackerson Lake, but their tank dies really quickly. Charlotte's going to get several picks here. The charge on the Kiriko, but the Kiriko dies in advance. Charlotte has one death, and Ackerson Lake has quite a few. So, Charlotte is sitting on four alts for this fight. We have a Shatter, we have a Sim Wall, we have a Brig Rally, and we also have a Torby Lava. Um, floor is Lava moment, probably incoming. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stick to our senior right now. We got to root on this Weaver kid, man. He has been balling out for this team all year. He has been a leader for us. He's going to get a nice shatter here. I can just feel it. I feel it in my bones. All right. Charlotte doing a nice job controlling the high ground here. They're just not going to peak that Bastion turret. As long as they don't peach it, that Bastion turret does nothing. Uh, the wall comes out for the May by Ackerson Lake. The big shatter. But, oh, the ice comes out. He's frozen. He cannot move, but no no damage comes through because Moira's just in the back line doing her thing. Good job, Brendan Westlake. Oh, my gosh. All right. Ackerson Lake getting outmatched. I wouldn't may I wouldn't wall this early. I'd save it for when they come out because they're probably going to be able to touch this. But right now, Charlotte is absolutely dominating this competition right now. The wall comes out. The alts come out by Charlotte. Charlotte is absolutely dominating. They're going to have a five minutes left um, to escort this point. We had one death as a team right there. One death. Ethan Ramsey? I thought it was Gordon Ripley. Is it Ethan Ramsey or, Go or Gordon Ripley? I don't know. Which one sounds better, Chet? Either way, let that man cook, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Bowden. Bowden's locked in right now. He ain't got time for that kind of stuff, Deegan. All right, so we were talking about Gordon Ripley in chat. Let's stick on Gordon Ripley for a minute. Um, Ethan Ramsey or Gordon Ripley, I'm not sure which one we're going to go with, but he's going to probably, probably try to cook here. I assume Charlotte's going to take the bridge high ground on this, or at least they should. If they have gotten the correct coaching, and they have gotten the correct coaching. Look at that. We've done our job. All right, so they're going to hold high ground on the bridge here. Weaver's going to go up there and shield Charlotte while they try to hold this. Um, if 
Ackerson Lake tries to sim TP this, I would love to see a Davin Maywall to block that TP so that they don't even have a chance. Let's see if the save strategy from Ackerson Lake is coming through. So Ripley's looking for it. I see a Sigma Rock coming out. Ackerson Lake gonna play a little bit of a different comp here. They've switched off Ramatra, they've gone to a Sigma. Ripley trying to hit the head dinkies. The Bastion is still uh, throwing bullets at Charlotte right now. Maywall comes out by Davin to block that off. And Charlotte seems to be chilling on this bridge. Ackerson Lake not applying a lot of pressure right now. Um, kind of hanging back. They have a Zenyatta. Zenyatta's trying to hit some head dinkies, but he's gonna get head dinked in return. Let Gordon Ramsay, or Gordon Ramsay, uh, Ethan Ramsay, Gordon Ripley, let him cook. Doing his thing. Applying pressure from the back. You notice the discipline right now. He's applying pressure from the back, but a hero play would be to drop down to the back line and try to kill him all yourself. And we've coached that out of these kids. They know that they can take angles without being heroes. But right now, Charlotte is kind of just dominating Ackerson Lake. Ackerson Lake does not have an answer for the aggressiveness coming out by Charlotte. The speed, violence, and momentum is key right now. Let's go Orioles, indeed. So we'll go with Weaver again. Weaver's up here on the top of the point. Really just shielding his team, applying pressure, making sure that they're okay on the top. He's gonna drop down and chow the Sigma. Charlotte is sitting on no ults, but they got some coming up pretty quickly right now. Atkinson Lake is not really applying much pressure right now. They Got to come up with a plan. They got to come up with a consistent strategy to attack Charlotte. So it looks like Axon Lake is trying to make their way up right now. The Rock comes through on the Sigma, but it's easily blocked by our Weaver as a shield. He's building up Shatter right now. He's at 92% on his Shatter. We do have a Shatter probably coming through right now. The Shatter comes through. He smacks him around a little bit. Uses his big giant hammer, kills the whole team. Inke Warrior, how are you doing today? So Charlotte only has to hold this for a minute 40, and they will win this map. The big shatter comes through, but let's go over to, uh, let's see, we got Torby and May alt right now. I'm wondering which one they're gonna drop first here. All right, um, I don't know, I can't hear the team, but I just feel a Torby all coming. I can I can feel it in my bones. All right. Gordon Ramsay. All right, Gordon Rip Ripley. Oh my gosh, Chad, I'm struggling with that today. Ackerson Lake trying to apply some pressure here. They're trying to get up. Um, but it, honestly, there's not a lot of damage coming through from Ackerson Lake. There's not a lot of pressure being applied in this situation. So we're going to either see a May alt or a Torby alt here. I'm trying to, to figure out which one's going to go. Um... May is chilling on the top. I don't think she's going to be the one. The whole team is in front of Weaver. He's a, got a Bastion turret, though. The Torbiel does come through. It's burning them, but they're going to stay alive because of the Transcendence. But they are going to get the picks anyways. The triple kill. Why not the quadruple? Wait till that May comes out of her ult. The pin comes through in the background there. The May all comes out out of desperation. But it's going to do nothing for them. They're going to be able to thaw out and then walk all right on back to point. Charlotte is full holding this right now. All right, so um, we are still sitting on a May alt. So let's go over to May here because she's probably going to use it. Where is May? All right, so this is Davin right now. He's got his May alt in his pocket. He's going to drop it down, honestly, just to prevent them from touching. But they do get a Sigma to touch. How did he sneak back there, that big fella? Oh, my goodness. All right, so they're going to full focus, full targeting on one guy right now. Wow, Weaver sections away the team. They're not going to be able to touch point. That's good, exciting Overwatch right there by the Charlotte Orioles. And we take map two. So that's map two in the books. Remember, Charlotte only needs three maps. And they take the victory, and we move on to state finals.
All right, so again, chat, we're going through the pick band process right now. Um, Escort is a larger map set, so it's going to take a little bit of uh, time, but we have decided on Dorado. We're waiting to hear attack or defense right now. Once I hear attack or defense, I'll get both teams in their appropriate spots. And they want to attack first. So we're going to swap teams here. We're going to swap um, our spectators. And we got this going. <clears throat> All right, they said they're going to take a minute to talk to their team. What's All right, so they, they, like they just said, they're going to take a minute to talk to their team. But uh, we are ready to go. So once you see the start.
All right, so we are ready to go here. Uh, we have everybody in their appropriate spots. We're chilling right now. All right, we are ready to start the game. All right, chat. so this is the last map right here. If we win this right now, we are 3-0, and we are going to go into state playoffs in person next week. Akers Lake right now is down 2-0 to Charlotte. Charlotte has got a two-map lead, but that doesn't mean anything until it is over. We have to win this map. We have to seal this victory so that we can get ready for state playoffs next week, all right? But all focus right now is on this one map. This is Dorado. It's a really good map for Charlotte. We really like um, our comp on this one. Basically, we're under the philosophy right now. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We have not changed a single one of our players out. We have kept the same comp that we have always had. I believe that the the character composition hasn't even changed. No, we have not changed one little thing about our comp right now. So uh, Charlotte's going to walk on to the height right now. <clears throat> We're going to take height. I believe it looks like two are taking height. Three are going to take height. I like that much better. All right. The only one really that should be low ground are Brig and our tank. That's perfect. Um, Torby turret is also low ground to apply pressure with our tank. So let's see how Ethan Weaver holds this corner with the Ryan. He's going to try to basically jiggle peek this corner with his hammer, um, wait for them to get close, and once they get close, they're in that effective range of that giant hammer that Weaver has in his hands right now, and he's just going to be swinging that thing around. So once the cart gets over there to his left, he has that for cover. He can use that. Um, he basically has all the cover in the world right now. Cage has got to be very careful about frontlining. Um, on that cage walked in front of his tank right there. I'm never a fan of a brig frontlining in front of their tank. All right, so Weaver doing a good job. The bay walls are coming out, trying to prevent that Bastion turret from being effective. In reality, Ackerson Lake's biggest threat to Charlotte right now is that Bastion turret that's coming out. That thing does a lot of damage, and it does a lot of damage quickly. I believe I just heard someone on the right side trying to flank. Let's see if they shut that down. It's going to get shut down by Ethan Ripley. Let's go up here on height with him. Ripley's looking down on the whole thing. You can see the whole thing unfold right now. You got Brig in the front line again. I'm going to yell at Cage. All right. Cannot be doing that. But Charlotte doing a good job otherwise. Keeping Ackerson Lake on their heels, making sure that they don't get a foothold on any of these points right now. Ackerson Lake trying to go backside here, but they got a Torby turret with a May shield in front of the Torby turret so that it can just do its thing. I love that. I love that kind of action from Charlotte. The other picks are coming through. The good fire strikes coming through by Ethan Weaver right now. Weaver's going to have his shatter here in a short second, so let's go down to Weaver, see what kind of fat shatters he's working with right now. The good fire strike comes out. Shatter is in his pocket. He's probably going to wait for that, tor that turret to go down, and he's going to shatter. Shattering into a turret is a very risky thing to do. He is lucky that he stayed alive in that moment, but it's all right. So shatter comes through. Nothing comes through with it. Teachable moments are still here, so a lot of people crit in front of Cage right now. He doesn't have the heal packs to make keep him up, but Moira should be helping him out on this. So we are sitting on probably May Alt's going to come through next. Oh, Torby Alt just came through, and I missed it. All right, so Ripley uh, played Flora's Lava all over the point right there. You can see it on the ground. Ackerson Lake cannot push up while that is down there. All right, so we are working down here. The Oh, somebody canceled the Sigal. That was beautiful. I don't even know who that was. The rally comes through for Kays. They're bullying him in the back line. But the Bastion turret is deadly. They still got to be careful about that Bastion turret. That Bastion turret is a terrifying thing. Dragon Queen, I see you. Just give me a minute. All right, so Cage is looking around here. He's pinging for his team. The comms for this team right now are really solid. They're identifying the issues. They're taking care of the issues together. The Sights comes through in the front line, but the Shatter to cancel it. And the Freeze, why not? Everybody is frozen. It's the opposite of the floor is lava, the floor is ice. Point is empty right now. 
Ripley has just been sitting on top here. He has had no challenger this entire time from Ackerson Lake, but the cart is moving right now. Uh, Charlotte has to get back on that corner and demand respect on that corner. Did we lose our tank? We did lose our tank. How did we lose our tank? Chat, we lost our tank in the middle of that. I don't know how, but Charlotte's basically just going to back up and play the next corner. You never want to force a 4v5 when you don't have to. So Charlotte's going to hold this point right here. Ethan Weaver's going to play the cart as his cover, and he's just going to say, you know what? You beat me at that other corner, but hey, try me on this one. All right? The surrender to my will comes out by Brendan Westlake. He's got it all coming through. The Torbiel comes through on top. The BAP gets picked off on Ackerson Lake. Charlotte looks like they're gonna push him off point and hold them at the second choke. That's a good job by Charlotte. Realizing that they had their tank down, they said, you know what? We don't have to force this fight on this corner. Let's just back off to the next corner, wait for our tank to come back in, and then we'll hold them at the next one. That's a really good, solid couple of plays right there um, by Charlotte. Okay. Um, Dragon Queen, if you would like to get a hold of us, um, uh, Honey Badger Falcon's mom, I'm not sure which one of the kids that is. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, if you would like to get a hold of us, uh, my school email, uh, Mr. Keith's school email, or um, uh, get the kids to, to let us know your number or something, we can get a hold of you for that, okay? But uh, I'm not sure if we need chaperones, but I, we appreciate the help, all right? So... And we're not there yet. We have to finish this map off. So, Charlotte just has to get it around that corner. Do you intend to be struck in the head? Well, I hope not. And we should be fine. You'll just miss the wind. So you can see the stats here. Charlotte is is uh, significantly better on all stats right now. This team is cooking. Tank play is fantastic. The Life Weaver is going to come out by Charlotte right now. I believe they're going to try some. Are they going to try TikTok stuff right now? Is that what's happening? Let's see. Alright, so the left flank comes through the soldier on Ackerson Lake applying a lot of pressure on the left flank right there. That's got to be targeted and put down. Doomfist coming out for Ackerson Lake. That's interesting. They're going to switch to more of a divey comp right now, and they're going to play really aggressive on Charlotte, but they play too aggressive, and they single themselves out. They section themselves. The Torby Turret gets laid down to the left of point. Charlotte is marching this point up right now. The Life Weaver pulls our tank back because he's one shot. He's playing super aggressive right now. I think Ethan Weaver's feeling it. All right, Coria is in, in this game, man. I believe Charlotte is going to play up on this. They're going to have one on point, replace the Torby Turret ahead of him, but Charlotte's going to win that one. And Charlotte is in the in-person playoffs. We are going to be at U of M Flint a week from now playing in person for a state title. Charlotte has now made it to the top, I believe, 16 teams in the state. You can hear them in the background. They are, the hugs are coming through. They love it. They are happy. This is what they've worked for all season. And they are going to make it happen. All right. That is a great game by Charlotte. That is a great game by Ackerson Lake. Um, we appreciate them coming out, uh, you know, and, and challenging us and giving us some film. And uh, all kudos to them and their season. And uh, we hope to see them again next year. Uh, Corey is mom? I, I don't know. Uh, get a hold of me um, through my school email or Keith's school email, and we can figure that out if we need it. So, uh, like I said, chat, we are going to be in person at state playoffs next weekend at U of M Flint. Um, and uh, we're excited. We're ready to go. We are ready to go. Chat, we appreciate all the support. We appreciate everything that you guys have brought to this chat and to, to the feeling of this team and the vibes of this team throughout the season. You guys have been awesome. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately, we do not get to stream next weekend, okay? Um, there was just some logistical issues. We are not allowed to stream at the event, all right? But right now, I'm going to show you where MySef streams the state playoffs so that you guys at least know where it's at because I am not going to be able to stream it next weekend. They stream on YouTube. I'm going to show you 
right now. So if the parents are in the chat, um, this is where they're going to be streaming it. All right. It's uh, literally just Mysef, M-I-H-S-E-F, on YouTube. They go live on there. Um, subscribe to them, uh, and uh, they will go live there. I think they're going to have Overwatch on that channel, and then uh, they will have some other games going that day. But basically, they're going to stream some of the top games. We are not going to be on every time that we are playing, but you'll see us throughout the day, especially if we keep winning. Um, go follow that. It's Mysef, M-I-H-S-E-F, on YouTube. They will go live there with our games. We will be in person there, ready to go, ready to fight for a state championship. Thank you guys so much for all the support this season. Make sure you follow our Twitch if you're not already. Make sure you follow our YouTube. We also have a TikTok. We have a Twitter, and we have a Facebook. So make sure you follow all those things. They're all under the same handle, Charlotte HS Esports. And, uh, hey, man, all I got to say is it's a great day to be at Oriole. Can I get a hooah in the chat? Let's go.